Hello guys, my name is Piro Katsos and today we're going to talk about the rules engine pattern. The best way for me to explain that is through an example so we can see what we are trying to achieve, uh, what's the problems with our current implementation and how the rules engine pattern fits in. Now imagine that we are a company that we sell um, phone and internet plans. So let's go to our code and let's uh, take a look at our customer class. Uh, its customer has a name, a plan which is an enum and we have um, three plans that we can sell. Uh, only a phone plan, only an internet plan and the phone and internet combined. Uh, we also have an integer years which represent the years that a customer has been a customer to our company and probably I should have picked a better name. And finally we have a coupon which is a record and holds one property and that's the discount uh, of that coupon. Now in my program.cs I have created three customers with different um, names, plans, years, coupons, etc. And uh, then for each customer I calculate uh, the discount and uh, I print it and I calculate the discount with the calculate method of the discount service. So let's go and see that. Uh, first we initialize a discount and that's a decimal to zero and then uh, if the plan is only internet and only phone we apply a 10% discount and if it's uh, internet and phone we apply 15% discount then we have a kind of loyalty bonus so if that customer is a customer for more than three years we add the 5% bonus and uh, then for our coupon discount uh, if uh, the customer is not a customer for five years or more and the coupon discount plus the current discount is more than 20% we say okay 20% is the best thing we can do else we add the coupon discount to the current discount and if the customer uh, is with us for more than five years we increase the limit to 25% so if the current discount plus the coupon discount is more than 25% we say okay 25 it's the best thing we can do that's very generous else we add the coupon discount and finally we return the discount now there are some problems with that calculate method as you can see we got a lot of ifs and else's and uh, that can become a kind of complex and really hard to read especially if we had more rules imagine how lengthy this could become and how hard it would be for someone to read and uh, also if uh, at some point in the future we need uh, to add more rules maybe we tweak and break something and also that violates the open close principle which says that uh, the code should be open for extension but closed for modification so we need a better way to calculate a discount and uh, that's where the rules engine comes into play okay first of all i will create a class and i will call that uh, discount engine and that will be our engine uh, which will eventually uh, apply a set of rules to calculate the discount now if we go back to our discount service if I look at that I can see three rules for discount one has to do with the plant that the customer chooses one has to do with how many years uh, is a customer and uh, the other one has to do with the coupon that the customer has so we have three concrete rules, so let's go and uh, define them. Let's go back to our engine and we will have a collection of rules and uh, for each uh, rule we need to calculate a discount. So each rule has to have a calculate method and also we need a way to know that uh, these rules are part of our discount rules. So I will create an interface, let's say public interface, I will call that i discount 
rule and let's have a decimal let's call that apply a method that uh, we will calculate the discount and uh, that will accept the customer of course and uh, also the current discount uh, which will be the discount that has already been applied for any previous rules so current discount okay and let's go and create our first rule and that will be the plan discount rule so public class plan discount rule and we will implement the i discount rule and let's go and implement the apply method okay and uh, we need to check the customer's plan so uh, if customer plan is internet uh, or phone let's return the current discount plus 10% uh, else if it's a uh, phone and internet the current discount plus 15% okay and let's have them to separate lines okay and that was our first rule the second rule was about loyalty so let's say public class loyalty the discount rule discount rule and let's implement the apply method and we need to check the customer's years so if the customer years is more than three a return current discount plus five percent else return just the current discount we won't apply anymore and finally we have the coupon discount rule so public class coupon discount rule and for the apply method let's check the customer years first so if uh, customer years is smaller than five then let's check the customer discount plus the current discount so customer dot coupon dot discount plus a current discount and if that's bigger than 20% return 20% else return customer dot coupon dot discount plus current discount and let's copy that and do the same in case that the, the years are bigger than five but we need to change the 20% to 25% now let's go to our discount engine and since in here we apply the rules we need to have the collection of those rules so we'll say private uh, read only i enumerable of i discount rule and we will call that rules and now we could hard code them somewhere but <coughs> Uh, you will need each time you create a new rule to remember to add it to that place so I think it's safer to use a reflection and scan in our project to find those rules so we will do that in the constructor and we'll say rules equals with get rules and let's create this method okay and let's also make that static At first we will need the type of the i discount rule so type equals with type of i discount rule and now we need to take these rules so var rules equals with uh, let's get the 
executing assembly to scan so get executing assembly then let's get the type and now we need to link them to the ones that are assignable from the id scan rule so we will say x and discount type is assignable from x and we need to exclude the actual interface so we'll say x dot is interface and we will engage that and then now that we have uh, the rules we need to create uh, an instance for each of them so we'll say select and uh, we'll use the activator class and then the create instance method to create an instance of uh, that uh, rule type and we know that's not null and also we need to cast it to an idiscount rule and we are ready now let's return the rules and finally let's create the method that we will apply those rules uh, since uh, we are inside the, the discount engine class I will call that method run so it uh, will be something like discount engine dot run so public uh, decimal run and we will accept a customer and we need to initialize a discount so current discount equals with zero and then let's go through our rules so for each rule in rule we'll say current discount equals with rule dot apply and we will pass the customer and the current discount and finally we will return the current discount which at that point will be the final discount so now let's go back to our program.cs and uh, run it uh, using the discount service okay and let's note those results so for the first customer it's 20% the same for the second and for the third is 25% okay and now let's uh, run this again but now we'll use the discount engine so let's initialize that here so var engine equals with new discount engine and now we don't want that discount service dot calculate but extend the engine dot run let's run that again and as you can see we get the same result but there is a problem with our implementation in our discount service uh, we had a rule that checks the current discount and the coupon discount and uh, it's been executed at the end because if it was let's say at the beginning the current discount will be zero so we will uh, so nothing would stop us from accepting a 100% discount so our implementation as it is now it would be okay if our set of rules didn't need to be an, in order but in our case they need so we need a way to order them one simple approach would be to have a public int let's call that id or order or something with a getter and uh, then in the plan discount rule we, will, we would have an id of one in loyalty discount rule an id of two and in the coupon discount rule an id of three but i don't like that much this approach because what uh, if at some point in the future uh, we had a rule and that rule uh, needs to be between rule two or three we would have to change uh, the rule uh, three to four and then the four to five the five to six etc and uh, also for us to check the order of the rules we would need to go to each rule and note uh, the number of that rule 
and uh, I would like to handle them in one place so I will use an enum so let's say public enum discount rule and first uh, we have the plan discount rule then we have the loyalty discount rule and I think I can copy them so loyalty discount rule and coupon discount rule and uh, that would be now a discount rule and instead of an ID let's say type because that's actually the type of the discount rule and now let's go and implement those missing properties okay uh, and that would be the discount rule dot plan discount rule and let's copy that paste it here and for the loyalty discount rule would be the loyalty discount rule and finally for the coupon discount rule it will be the coupon discount rule so now we can see the order that the rules will be applied in that enum and if uh, I have a rule that uh, needs to be in between some of the rules I can go just here and add it so that's way simpler and more clean and now the last thing to do is to order them by that enum so let's say dot order order by I'm sorry by their enum and now our rules will execute in order and now that we also covered the case that uh, we need to apply our rules in a specific order I think uh, that brings us to the end of this video if you liked it please like and subscribe thanks for watching and have a nice one